I mean, if if you were to write a book about yourself, what would the title be? Uh, one life, no regret. One life, no regret. Yeah. Why? I think when you maisha, we only have one chance. So, um, when you talk about it, when you kill a hatu at Kamisha, any decision you make, make sure you even if it's a wrong decision, you won't regret about it because Maisha has a formula. So, um, anything you try to do, um, can as a kawak, how can work? Can be personal life, can be business, can be anything. So, I think for me, I believe in that because, um, we only have one life. Uh, and um, how I came about this, in uh, 1960, <laughs> those days when um, I was starting my first business, um, which was um, a magazine. On spot. On spot. Like yeah. Boca. So I used and to then do... And then you From six, even from five. Yeah. I mean, you got you at that time. Yeah. So it's from six, yeah. From yeah. six, getting to first year. Mm. So at that time, before we start this, we got I mean, I've never been employed. Yeah. So it was my first really work which involved having a professional working relationship. Sikuwa na a network around me. So the only people I could get, maybe family members will tell you, ah, by the way, nenda Coca-Cola. That this person, you can call them, and then maybe they can give you advert or support for your magazine project. Mm. So I used to sit with the number, and I say, I'll call them tomorrow, today, and then I don't call. Mm. Then to go day two, I'll call them today, then I don't call. Uh, day three, I'll call, they won't pick. Then I'll do anything. And then at that time, I used to perceive it as more of a personal issue. Like, they don't pick my call because they don't know me and such kind of things. But then um, I met some uh, guy at that time. I called it one Jeru Zakayo. I was GM of Regas offices. I was looking for a space. If Regas was looking for a bongo, they had a, a center in town. Mm. So I had to inquire because at that time I used to of course, finances are not good, so I had to cut down costs. And I can't have I can't have a full office and such kind of things. Then when I met him, he was very consistent to convince me to join Regas for six months. Then uh, when I went to Regas, at last I went to Regas offices, and then I was like, despite everything, I really admire you. Consistent. Mm. Then later we became friends. Then later I left there, and then he started his. Um, it's good in sales, so he started, he started his company on trainings okay. on sales. So when he told me that, then I said, uh, can you help me to train me in terms of understanding how to do proper sales and everything? Then I take him through my experience of what had happened. Then he told me, you know, if I give a number to call Elisha, and you called him and he's not picking, it's the same as you've never met him. The first interaction hasn't actually happened yet. Exactly. Yeah. Even if it happens, you are born not knowing this person. Mm. So it's either you get to know this person or you never get to know this person. So when you get called, make as many calls as you can. So the funny thing is, I he helped in such a way that I opened doors which I never imagined to open. Mm -hmm. You get the point. Mm -hmm. I remember my first year I went to TBL. I just walked in with my demo magazine and I showed them and I asked them for sponsorship and I think we had grandmas for three years mm -hmm. supporting us. Mm -hmm. It was one of my best achievements at that time. Mm -hmm. But just because I understand like, okay, what what will I lose even if I go and knock and they say, ah, we don't like it. Mm -hmm. It's the same as not knocking at all. Yeah. Yeah. So that's when I came to learn about that thing and I think I got into that uh, one life, no regret. One so everything, regret. just do it. Whatever it happens, just don't regret about it.